Hey, so I just want to put together a video of my personal build of an electric dirt bike. Here it is sitting in its ghetto glory. I pieced it all together as cheaply as I could, as you can see from the PVC pipe kickstand. The original one was processed in half. I used a 1985, I think, KX125 dirt bike I found on Craigslist for 200 bucks. It was basically a rolling chassis that didn't really roll, I had to fix up the brakes and suspension. So here we have the Nissan Leaf batteries. There's seven of them in total. I had to split them up on two sides of the frame. I used some garden hose here to protect the battery terminals. And here's the main contactor mounted underneath the gas tank. So the battery pack is about 54.5 volts and about 3.3 kilowatt hours. And here are the other three modules on this side. And the thing I like about these Nissan Leaf modules is that you can string them together really easily. I ended up bolting some metal plates to the frame and then rung the battery modules together and bolted them to those plates. So everything here was just bolted on using existing mounts, except for one engine mount I had to have welded on. I tried to make it as cheap and simple as possible, while still holding some structural integrity. The total price of all the components and assembly and everything came out to about 3,500 bucks. Anyways, back to the bike. Here's the Alltrax controller I used. And here's the BMS unit with all the crazy amount of wires coming out of it. All those wires connect to the individual cells in the battery modules, so I can monitor the voltage of all the cells. And here's the motor. It's a ME0909 DC motor. And over here is the DC to DC converter. And to turn on the power, I use some old toggle switches, which kind of adds to the simplicity of the design. Plus, I just kind of look like the way they look and feel. This is the 12 volt switch and the high voltage switch up here on the gas tank. So a 12 volt switch turns on my battery management system and the high voltage switch, turning it on, you can hear the main contactor clicking on. I used a 71 tooth rear sprocket that I had to have custom made and a 12 tooth sprocket up front at the shaft, giving me a gear ratio of about 5.9, which equates to a top speed of around 60 miles an hour, but more realistically, cruising speeds of around 45 to 50 miles an hour. So let's jump into the battery management system and controller software. So this is pretty cool. I can hook up the controller and the BMS unit to my laptop and edit the controller and all the and manage all the cells. So let's jump into the BMS unit. This one uses a command prompt where I can show the pack voltage, number of cells, the mean of the cells, and if I show the configuration, I have the low and high voltage cutoffs of each individual cell. So the battery management system will alarm if a cell drops below 3.1 volts, and it'll stop the charger from overcharging at 4.1 volts. And this range of voltage is ideal to get the maximum life out of your battery cells. So I can show cells and see all of the individual voltages of each cell and it marks which ones are high and low. And I can also see the stats of the cells from the time I 
turned on the VMS unit just now. Let's hop over to the Alltrax controller software. And it shows me all the gauges of the controller, temperature, the battery voltage as well. It has the speed and torque curves that I can manually adjust. as well as a few other controls and settings, max motor amperage, battery amperage, the throttle response. So pretty cool, you can adjust a lot of the controls and customize it to your preference. So if you wanna see this thing in action, stay tuned, I've got another video coming out. I just took it out to my friend's ranch where I got it nice and dirty. So stay tuned for the next video. Like, subscribe. Okay.